Hey everybody, welcome back. We're on Unit 3, National Income and Price Determination. That's the title of the unit. We're focused on the ASAD model. This is the model that we're going to use to focus in on national income and price determination. Okay, this is part five. Here, we're talking about the LRAS. Now really, I'm going to talk about AS in general, AS, the total production line. And I'm going to talk about the two types, the SRAS, short run aggregate supply curve, and the LRAS, the long run aggregate supply curve. Okay, now these two curves are both are both total production curves, but they're different. Why are they different? Well, that's what this video is all about. Okay, so <clears throat> what we're really talking about right now is the shape of the AS curve. Now remember, there's two of them, and guess what? They have two different shapes. Okay, so our aggregate supply curves, our total production curves. There's two of them, and they both have different shapes, and we need to understand why they have different shapes. So, take you over to our model right here. Price level is the vertical. We've got over here on the horizontal, we've got the quantity of aggregate supply or total production. Now, way in the future, okay, as we get there, as we put the AS and AD curves together on the same graph, we're just going to wipe all this away and put real GDP, okay? That's where we'll get eventually. But for understanding's sake, it is good to understand that when we talk about the aggregate supply curve, that we're looking at this horizontal axis as the quantity of aggregate supply, which is total production, okay? Once again, we're focusing on the shapes of the curves, okay? The shape of the curve is really a question about the relationship between the price level and the quantity of aggregate supply. So what is that relationship? Well, first of all, we need to understand that this is the independent variable, this is the dependent. What does that mean? When our cause and effect relationship goes like this, we get a change in the price level. How does that affect the quantity of aggregate supply? If the price level goes up, okay, if the prices of final goods and services goes up, what is going to happen to the quantity of aggregate supply? Well, before the price level goes up, let's just say that there is some price level out there, we'll call it PL sub zero, and at PL sub zero, there's some level of total production, quantity of aggregate supply. That amount, that's our total production, our quantity of aggregate supply. So at this price level, I'm just going straight down, that's our total production amount. Now, when that price level goes up, if we think about a business making production decisions based on this equation, revenue minus cost equals profit or loss, okay, when that price level goes up, what does that mean? That means revenues are going up, right? We've got the price level going up, price of the final business services goes up, revenues go up. The whole question comes down to the cost. Well, what are the cost of production? Well, it is wages, etc. Okay, wages, etc. Wages, very important cost of production. The etc. is rent payments, it's interest payments, it's cost of inputs, it's all of that type of stuff. Okay, that's the etc. Well, when the price level goes up, revenues go up. In the short run, costs, especially wages, lag behind. They remain sticky. They don't go up as fast. And therefore, it becomes profitable to produce as long as costs lag behind, okay? As long as costs lag behind. Now, that bar means constant, but let's just understand that just kind of means lagging behind, okay? It's just my shorthand way of saying, hey, revenues go up, costs lag behind. What are profits going to do? They're going to go up. It becomes profitable to produce. And so, when the price level goes up, we're going to produce more as long as costs lag behind and that gives us our short run aggregate supply. Now I kind of pulled the fast one, but, you know, if you watched the earlier video, you've kind of already gotten this. This is a review. The fast one I pulled is I just put short run aggregate supply. What is the short run? The short run is defined as that time period. That cost, cost of production, especially wages, lag behind changes in the price level, okay? Remember, we're associating the price level with the revenues of business, okay? So, what's the short run? One more time, the short run, what is it defined as? It is the time period, that cost, especially wages, lag behind changes in the price level. That is the short run. Price level goes up, cost lag behind, it becomes profitable produced, so we well produce more, and that gives us an upward sloping AS curve, okay? In the long run, though, 
wages and all other costs of production are going to go up just as much as the price level. In the long run, those costs of production are all going to catch up, okay? If price level goes up, workers are going to agitate for higher wages because their real wage goes down, and therefore we're going to have to grant them more um, payment of wages. Their wages eventually will go up. Cost of production eventually will go up at the same amount that the price level did. When is that going to happen? That's defined as the long run. So in the long run, when the price level goes up, revenues go up, but costs will go up by the same amount, costs will go up by the same amount, profit or loss does not change, doesn't change the profitability of production. So when the price level goes up, we're going to produce the same amount as we always had. So I'm going to put a dot right there. What does that represent? It represents a higher price level, but production not changing. If I connect these two dots, that curve is my LRAS curve. That's right. I got two total production curves. Okay, two average supply curves. One is the short run. What is the short run? That's when wages and other cost of production lag behind changes in the price level. What is the long run? That's when wages and all other cost of production have changed by the same amount the price level did. In the long run, our total production is vertical in relation to the price level. Does not change when the price level changes. Let me say that one more time. In the long run, total production does not change when the price level changes. The price level will go up, down, the price level will change in any way, and total production is going to be vertical, which means it's going to be this map, this horizontal distance, no matter what the price level is. However, in the short run, total production will change when the price level changes. And why will total production change? Because in the short run, the cost of production, sorry about that, the cost of production, especially wages, lag behind the change in the price level. Those are our two production curves, total production curves, our two average supply curves, and we've got to understand both of them. And they give us the definition of the short run and the long run for macroeconomics um, for our class. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.